Hello, beautiful family. Hello, families and friends. Welcome back to our home, home of peace, home of solution, home of testimony, home of prosperity. You are welcome to this place. And please do this recipe with all seriousness, with faith, with action, with belief and imagination. Yes, do it with imagination. And you're going to see positive results by special grace of God. I want to teach you how you are going to overcome spiritual marriages. And I want you to know that spiritual man is not your destiny helper. As a child of God, he's not a destiny helper. Spiritual man or spiritual woman are those people that come to violate your body. Take the, your body without no without your conscience, come to sleep with you while you are sleeping, come to feed you while you are sleeping, come to press you, come to uh, attack you as in spiritual paralysis while you are sleeping, following you up and down, coming into your home, hiding under your bed, hiding under your kitchen, blocking favor, Blocking you not to be favored, causing disappointment, causing you pain in your life. Anything that causes you pain is not your is not your destiny ever. Even if they said he wants you to acknowledge, acknowledge what? You don't use by fast. If you want somebody to acknowledge you, we come and you acknowledge the presence of Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will come to give you revelation, speak to you, save you, provide for you, protect you in peace and not in battle. And not taking the precious parts of you. God gave you your body, your private parts for your physical use to produce children for him that will give him glory. And somebody is coming to violate it to sleep with you and and pollute you and tomorrow you face disappointment you are telling me it cannot be your destiny here to my return subscribers i want to say thank you for always coming back to watch my video so if you are having challenge with a spiritual man this video is a most twin for you i have posted some other video testimonies are coming but this one also will give you a powerful testimony okay now for those of you that are coming across my video for the first time please subscribe to my channel to always be notified from the youtube whenever i upload a video or come on live select all and you get notification yes i am assurance to you i'm assurance solution yes vessel of god now your destiny helper is your precious holy spirit he will solve all problem for you. Amicably. You get requests. You get desire. You get prayer points. You get to know more about your life. The, what's happened to you in the past. Happened to you presently. And what's going to happen to you in the future. Precious Holy Spirit will do that for you. John 14, 14. Ask anything in my name. I will do it for you. Read it down to 17 to 18. I will send you the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit. God will send you a comforter, which is the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, making your destiny happen today. And you will see that every day of your life will be full of testimony. I will teach you how to do that maybe when I come on live video. Now, I want you to know that spiritual man has name. We're going to give this one a name. Call him Mr. Pete. Head of the dragon, serpent, snake, um, enemy of progress. Yes, he's the enemy of progress. He does not want you to be happy as a child of God. He's a thief, comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Some of them are very stubborn. No matter how they're stubborn, one thing will bring them down. If everything you've not be trying has not worked, if you try this, it will bring them down. The thing that is poisonous to them is the power in the blood. 
of Jesus. They can't suck the blood. They can't near the blood. It's the power in the blood of Jesus. When you are soaked in the blood of Jesus, they can't come near you. Because it's the blood that can set you free and cancel anything sin that you have done. All right? Irrespective of your religion, free yourself and be happy. Is what matters to anybody. Wherever there is freedom, wherever you can find freedom and be happy with God, be happy to be a child of God, is the place you should be. All right? Yes, guys. Now, when you say you're going to appease them, those of them that are preaching, teaching that spiritual minds of the sinner path, remember they're always going to water. Hey, you will live a life of going to water, to go and meet you in the water. There are some things in there, to go and meet with you in the water. Who say if you did not go to water, you will not progress? It's like seriously? Who say if you not go to water to appease, you will not marry? Like seriously? Those of them, they, they born, they grow up, they marry, they are moving forward. Go and tell them, they'll say, I don't know anything about that. It's because there is a situation in your life. They'll start telling you, go and finance, who reconnect you, go and finance this, go and finance it. My dear, anything you are doing, know that there is a place. One day, you will die and you will ascend to one place. Is that you're going to heaven or you're going to somewhere else? And I pray, heaven shall be your portion and not hell in Jesus' name. Why I say give it many? Because a lady told me that she was using one of my soul. And the spirit came, he couldn't enter her. And said, he was angry. Why are you using this soul? Why are you using this soul? The spirit in asked the, the spirit asked her, do you know my name? Do you know my name? He asked, he was on the name. The spirit said, his name is Mr. Pitt. And he's going to. P E A T. I think that is correct spelling. Mr. Pitt, meaning does be refuge. Where they draw smelling garbage. Mr. Pitt. And his mission is to take her to Pitt. That shall not be your portion in Jesus' name. So you're going to get this. Hmm? You're going to go into this is called Tagiri. Type it Tagiri. Google will give you. They call it Christmas lemon. Take this picture. Type it Tagiri. Google will give you. The other volcanic animal, whatever they call it, Christmas lemon, Christmas green fruit, anything they call it is tagiri. We call it when you type it, is recognized. Google will give you get seven pieces of garlic and seven pieces of your sea salt. Sea salt, okay. Next thing you need, in, you need your money. Next thing you need again, you need your money. The next thing you need again, you can use this one. This one is change 20 naira, you know. 20 naira. I can use this one like this. Next thing again is your bucket. Please don't use any transparent bucket. Use any bucket that is like black, black color, blue color, any color. Use it. Don't use something that people outside usually look at the bucket like this. For example, if your bucket is this color now, when you put it like this, they will see it. And don't use something they will see. Use something that they can see what is inside the bucket. So take this bath before 12 o'clock in the night. Get this one, cut it into pieces. You can cut it into three or five or, okay. Let's use number five. I'm using number five this this month. You can cut it into three pieces or five places. Five, okay. Let's use five. Five into five. See, um, uh, garlic. Five pieces of garlic. Salt. Five pieces of sea salt. Without sea salt, put your salt in five times. Five represent number of grace. Later, Jesus. Five daily stone to kill the Goliath. Okay. So when you cut it in some piece of water, you're going to start praying. Pray on that water. This Bible verse that you will use for your freedom, use Isaiah 49, 24, 25. 
can the prey be taken away from the lawful captive or will the lawful captive be delivered there was an, a question and God answered he said surely the lawful captive will be delivered and I will contend with them that contend with you I want to tell God to deliver you from captivity of spiritual men spirit water spirit man, spirit woman water kingdom that God should deliver you using these natural things, okay? You pray seriously on it. Pray that whatever God never planted in your destiny be rooted out. God should wash away every appearance of spiritual man. That you are divorcing spiritual man. You divorce, you renounce that. Amen. Amen. Unrecognized marriage. Unrecognized friendship. As you are divorcing them, all right, everything that the spirit man is blocking you, that God Almighty should return it. By commanding the spirit to leave and return your blessings to run away. Okay. After you are praying on that water, you're going to declare the blood of Jesus in this in the in the water. I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus 41 times. 41 times. Uh -huh. inside that water in the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus 41 times irrespective of religion after you don't plead in the blood of Jesus 41 times you mix it imagine that water turning into the blood of Jesus uh -huh. once you have done that, you start praying wash off spiritual man from your body wash your face Wash your body, wash your vagina, put it in all four towel. If you use ordinary this thing to rub your skin, it will scratch you. Okay? Don't use ordinary this thing to be rubbing your body. You rubbing your body. <laughs> Just cut it in the water. You are using the water to wash off all those things. You pray and speak out that the spiritual man should go and never come back again. After you're done that, you said anything given to you to hold me, to finish, to follow me. I use this money and I buy my head. I use this money and I close the case. I use this money to sign off myself from this marriage. You use this money, you buy your head, you buy your body, you buy everything off. You use the money, you buy everything off. You reject it and drop the money at the exact point where you take this bath. Don't take this bath if you're in your period. Don't finish this bath and go and have sex. If you are single, don't take this bath when you are sleeping with a man that is not your husband. He will judge you with the spirit of fornication. Don't be obstacle to yourself. Do it seven days, no sex. If you don't come and ask me if my husband demand, don't come and ask me that question. Do it seven days, no sex, so that it will go away peacefully. Now, that sex is pretty they like to sex you, to project himself in you. Anywhere you go, they will see you. Hmm. Okay, after you have done doing it, continue with your sex. It, it, uh -huh. No problem. So, when you finish taking your bath, close your bedroom, you know, go and sleep. Don't sleep like that. Rub anointing oil. Where's my oil? Okay, my oil is not there. Look at the oil. Blessed one. You can rub this one. You can rub a uh, back to sender oil. Black pancana oil. You can rub a um, black seed oil. You can rub mustard seed oil. You can rub um, red oil, the red one, that is a pancana oil. Make sure you pray on it. Pray on that oil and rub it all over your body and go to bed so that you don't have attack, okay? Then when you wake up in the morning, if there is, you are li living with your husband, let your partner know what you are going to do. You should know that you are having this kind of challenge. He should be able to support you so that you will be free, okay? Then make sure you are calm don't fight because he can possess anybody to come and fight you so that he will rubbish your work no don't fight with anybody i mean 
during the day, ask God for mercy. You can pack it with fasting and prayer. Fasting and prayer. Okay, ask God for mercy. Then after that, when you wake up, or anybody wants to use the bedroom, when you open the bedroom door, pour water first on that bedroom. You can keep water outside. Just one glass cup of water. Pour. But the time you close the door, that's going to enter inside your toilet. Mm -hmm. Then clear everything and go and bait. If you are going to walk, change that water. Everything you use that night, throw trash it. Get another one. Prepare another one when you come back. Don't prepare it and keep. Mm -hmm. The money you use in buying off yourself, give it out. Throw it on the road anywhere you're going to and come back with your testimony. Do it for seven nights and you'll be totally free from this spiritual marriage. If I have more revelation, how you can be free and separated, I'll come and share with you. Thank you for watching. Bye.